Hi. Do you like my hair? Good. <laughs> I'm Alex. I'm known as Alex by Design on Poshmark, Instagram, and I have an eBay store too under Alex by Design. Um, today I am going to do a giant thrift haul. It's like, it's, it's like big. Yeah, it was a big one. So, I'm not going to dilly dally. We're just going to get straight to it. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, like this video, send me a comment if you're interested in anything. Uh, please feel free to email me. I will put my email in the description. All right, so let's get started. Uh, this first one is a Ralph Lauren blue label size large um, terry cloth swim cover up. I actually sold this before in white, so it's black, it's a halter, and it ties. You can also wear it strapless, I think. Yeah, you can wear it strapless. Maybe it's intent. Yeah, I think this person wore it as strapless, but you can also wear it um, as a halter. Okay, there are a few items in here. I'm deciding whether or not I want to do a um, mystery box, like a damaged mystery box. There was this woman who um, ended up, I think she might have passed because there was like a ton of Chico's in there. I swear to you, she had every single Chico's item in the world and uh, it was all the same size. So I don't know if I'm going to do like a damaged mystery box. It's not like damage damage. Like this one just has a little spot on it and this one isn't actually Chico's, but I just, I can't decide yet. So if you're interested in like five or more of these, let me know and I'll just do like a mystery box. Okay, so this is a size 14. It's Peter Nygaard, which I'm not actually familiar with this brand, but I feel like I think it's a good one. Um, so all of these items I got for under 50 cents. So when it comes to that, I don't do a lot of like nitpicking. I'm okay with taking low end brands, high end brands. I'm taking my items from um, a nonprofit that I really agree with. And so, you know, everything needs a home that's in good condition. So there are some things that I like, I just don't have time to look up. So if you find yourself an opportunity like that, take it. Okay. So it's actually like this, um, wide, uh, like, oh gosh, what would I call it? Like, um, dolman sleeve. It's not even like a dolman sleeve, but okay. So it's got like this white trim and it's a cobalt blue body and it's short sleeved. And then it has, um, a black collar and slits up the side. Dun, da, da, da. I think this might be polyester. It feels like silk, but I think it's polyester. It is polyester. I'm wanting my fabrics. This is hilarious. I kind of feel like Cindy Lou Who, but I'm not pulling it down because I just filmed another YouTube video. And by the end of it, like, I was so hot that my hair was curling. For those of you who know me, my hair is literally, it's like naturally curly, curly cute. So if it starts going back to its natural state, we're in, we're in a bad spot. Okay, next is another Peter Nygaard. I really hope this is a good brand. That'd be nice. Size 16. This one is a midi dress, so it's white on the top. It does not come with a slip, um, and it is semi-sheer, so you want to put a slip under it or wear it with a nude bra. And it is black on the bottom. Looks like there might be... Oh, it's a full button front, too. Oh, that's so cool. So it's a full button front. I wonder if you can see that, because I can't see the camera. And then this one does have like a spot on the front. That's the back, I was just double checking. So it's got this. And I don't know if I care to clean it or just like put it in the listing, what's the word? Device? I don't know, it'll come to me. All right, next. I really like the print on this one. I don't remember who this is, but let's just appreciate that for a minute like bright color it's charter club the bright color like the green and then um this green has like paisley on it and it's super lightweight it's actually just kind of like a um oh my gosh all of these words are escaping so it's like the it's not a kimono maybe, maybe it's kind of like a kimono no oh i lost the word okay well anyways when you figure out what the word is for me, <laughs> let me know. <laughs> okay, so it's got like the printed collar and it's like opposing colors. So it's the green and the blue and it's either a solid. I mean, you can just, you can kind of put it together yourself. 
and it's sheer as well it'd be really good like swim top or if you were again a slip under it super cute um and it's got a zip front closure well that's kind of nice and it goes almost all the way down and it's charter club extra large and it's cotton all right next i have a pair of jag jeans they're actually khaki shorts and they're navy blue and they are a size 10 petite and they are new with tags so i know it's not short season but anything will sell year round especially if it's something somebody is looking for like they can't find any more of these and this happens to be their favorite pair of shorts so they're pocketed it's the classic fit western glove works it's, never mind, I'm assuming that has something to do with the company. Uh, next on the agenda. Oh, I just grabbed these. They are a kid's size 18 short. They're Land's End. The label's kind of folded up right now. Let me see if I can open it up enough. Okay. And then they are black khaki pants. Can't go wrong with black khaki pants. They're in really good shape. That looks like, you know, something that some mom made her son wear for some one thing and then she's like okay well it's been two weeks since you wore them and you are already 10 inches taller so i guess we have to get rid of them my brother grew uh six inches in six months so that was painful for him also i had a whole nother one in my last haul video which was like 15 minutes long I might be feeling saucy. I don't know. Okay, next I have a pair of crops that are not your daughter's jeans. And they are size 8, and they are white denim. Hold on. Just want to make sure there is a small spot, it looks like, back here. And. It looks like that's it. So they're just a pair of white crops. I know it's past Labor Day, but it doesn't mean you can't plan for next year or something like that. I don't know. So front and back. All right. Next, there is a pair of, this is Fit To by Land's End, and a 10 Petite. They're 100% bomb wool -y? cotton. Apparently bomb wooly is a different word. Okay, so here it is. And they are the like coolest pattern of plaid. Like the best golf shorts ever or like going on the boat shorts or any kind of shorts that you want them to be shorts. Pink, green, blue, white. Super cool. Do this one first because it's closer. So this is Peyton Jensen and I think that I don't know what Peyton Johnson is, so I'm not gonna say anything. Small, this is just your basic um, tank top, but what's really cool about this is it's got a completely open back. This would be perfect for somebody who has like a back tattoo that they wanna show off, and it's navy and white striped, and you could even wear it now and just put like a cardigan over it, or it's good for the spring. Next, there is a 15 to 15 and a half inch neck um, measurement or it's a size medium banana republic shirt and it is like a lavender and purple print it's a full button closure with a long sleeve slim fit is hard to find speaking from experience because Nick is a slim fit and it is like <sighs> he's a slim long his torso is like at least 400 yards long and then he's like this thin so I'm really happy to have found this I wish that it was longer so that Nick could wear it honestly because it's so hard to find him like just any good shirts okay anyways next so I got a fair amount of these so this is um they're so slimming by Chico's so there's a label and these are a size two and a half um, and they're an ankle cut and two and a half, I believe is four, six, eight. It might be like a 10 or 12. I can't remember. 
It's called uh, vanity sizing. So they go from like double zero to three or four. But it's got a stretchy banded waist. Um, and then they're just solid black. And they are actually just stretchy all over the place. They're like, kind of feel like they'd be really comfy to wear. Almost like a legging, but more formal looking than like a regular legging. Okay, so I grabbed this just because like, I love leather jackets. So this is Alfani. It's a size extra large and it is leather and it's a bright red leather coat. It's got a full zip closure. It does not smell like somebody smoked in it, which is always a plus, right? <laughs> okay, speaking as a former smoker, I all of my coats smelled like smoke. There she is, pocketed and everything. And then the cuffs are actually kind of cool too because they're like little mini belts. I think that'd be so cool for fall and winter. All right, so here comes some of the Chico's. So this is a size three by Chico's and it's Moldal and polyester with a label. This is just a like basic button up, kind of silky looking tee and it's grass green maybe. No, it's more like um. Like, uh, lime green, I guess, maybe. All right, let me see if this is one of those that has damage on it. Oh, this one looks fine. And now I have a pair of City Fit J. Crew chinos, and these are a size 10. And they are hot pink. Chinos haven't been selling really well for me, but these were very inexpensive, so I picked them up. I'm trying to make it, I'm like, I keep, I realize that I keep not looking at the camera, and I don't know if it's because, like, I hate looking at my face, and I have, like, the, like, screen, so it's showing off my camera, I don't know. So there they are. And what's kind of cool with these is they actually have, like, it's almost like green-looking stitching around the buttons, so they pop more. Holy crap. Okay. I haven't looked this one up, but it's so pretty and I wish it was prom season still. So this is Bill Levkoff. It's just polyester, so I don't know. But it looks really nice and well put together. So it's this blush colored, I think this is called the Sweetheart Neckline, and it's like lace on the top, and then it's this like super gorgeous with like slight poofing because it's got the uh one two I think just two of these like little layers it's so pretty and it's floor length so I'm like okay so here's the top and it keeps going and going and going <laughs> so yeah it's floor length it's really pretty oh and then the back and it's got the padding so you don't have to wear anything with it and it kind of has that belt look to it so yeah v-neck all right so this is nanette lapore and somebody's name on it this is a size four it is an ivory colored dress and this is a really pretty summer dress again with the lace so this is like a v-neck of lace if you can see that or it's no it's more like a scoop or a square neck actually but it's still like a peekaboo lace, thicker straps, really high neck, and then it's a shorter one. So I think this is gonna be between the butt and the knees. Not quite sure, but it's laced everywhere. And I think all of the lace is in good shape all the way down. And it has the attached slip under it and it's a full back zip closure and it's fitted. See? I know that Nanette Lepore doesn't sell very well on Poshmark. I'm not sure how it does on um, eBay, though. I guess we'll find out. But for the price I paid for it, I don't care. Alright, so this is another one of the So Slimmings. Like I said, I got a few of these. These ones are in na um, cobalt, so like a cobalt blue color. Two and a half ankle, stretchy, like more formal um, leggings almost. And... These ones are actually the crop fit, like an ankle almost, um, but these are the same. They're so slimming by Chico's, and then these are navy, so they're actually a little bit shorter. 
So, oh, I have to air this one out. It smells like somebody's closet, <laughs> which happens. It happens. I had that closet at my house too. Okay, so this is Bernardo, and it's a size extra large, and it is a camel colored leather coat. Kind of smells like a cedar closet, but like old cedar. I'm like totally down selling this. It will smell better before I sell it because I would hate for somebody to be upset with me and never come back. All right, so it's like a fitted leather coat. I also wonder if you can actually hear me behind the clothes. Um, okay, all it says is it's genuine leather, so I don't know what kind of leather it is, but the leather is still moist. It's not cracking. It's a full button closure front. It's got a collar. It's really soft, and it's got a polyester lining. Next, I have Talbot's Factory. We know it's factory because it has um, the three dots at the bottom and it's a size medium. I like this as like a base layer or a layering piece so it's just a little striped sleeveless blouse with a lot of fun colors in it. Lavender, uh, sky blue, white, navy, pink, all the good colors. And then it has like a faux half button front so it's like a v-neck kind of then it looks like it would button, but it doesn't. This is a Chico size three blouse. So this is like that green one that we saw earlier. And I didn't note this on the last one, but it's got like this really cool exposed seam on the back. Um, so it looks like this one has like, I don't know if there's any more, but there's like this little, I don't even know if you're gonna be able to see it. Uh, I don't even know where to, oh yeah it was that thing right there it's like a little oil mark or something but it really isn't bad I think that's it I'm gonna have to st I'll actually steam this one to see it like if there's any other spots on it it's a really pretty like uh, lavender color though okay or periwinkle periwinkle so I've not heard of this brand before either but it was like totally like grunge style to me which is why I grabbed it So it's CMC by Color Me Cotton. It's a size extra large and it's like a sh it's like a heavier kind of chambray between chambray and like a denim jacket, but it's long. So I'm gonna button just this top button here. Okay. It's so it goes top. It's long like below the knees kind of long let me see if I can I think it would be yeah like at the knees or below the knees I think this would be so cool if you wore it open with like a dress under it it has long sleeves but you could roll them up too and yeah I just think it would be really cool to like layer with and now I'm kind of selling it to myself okay so these are a pair of O'Neal shorts board shorts I think they might be able to be like swim trunks but they don't have a liner so they're size 34 and they are hmm, not new tags hmm. has something to do with like a rider developed rider proven I don't know, it's some kind of label on it. So anyways, so they're just paired board shorts. They're plaid, and they do have the Velcro. Right there. Next is a Rebecca Taylor blouse. So there's the label. And it's a size zero, and it is a tie back closure. See if I can mess around with this a little bit. Okay, so it's like a little short sleeve and it's got a little tie around the back and it, it's cool because it has the solid top and then it's this vine print bottom so why it looks like it's like fading away is because it's actually like 
little flowers that are growing up from the bottom. It's really cool. It's really pretty. I like the colors in it. This one you would want to wear like some kind of tank underneath it. What's that? Huh. <laughs> Alright, so this is Sacred Threads, which I've not heard of. It's cotton and rayon, so here's the label. And then it is just a like patchwork um, blouse, like a patchwork lace blouse. So it has like plaid lace. Let me see if I can show them all to you. So this is like an eyelet striped lace. There's the plaid lace on the back. Mm, this is just kind of like plain striped. <laughs> this one's like dots. So it's like a bunch of different. And then it actually has these like belts that you can tie them or wear them loose for the sleeve. That also is like a almost like a laser cut but it's not cut all the way through it's like a burnout an intentional burnout super pretty like there's a ton going on with this okay and next we have a chico size three this one would be like a lavender colored um popover blouse and this is a tab sleeve so you can wear it long sleeved or it's got the button halfway up if you wanted to roll it. Super cute. I think it's the silk too. It feels like silk. It feels like it's not telling me. And next, this is a pair of tribal pants. They're size 14. And they are like a lighter gray, kind of like a green gray color. And they are a straight leg. No pockets, kind of like a more formal legging. Okay, we're gonna kind of jump in a weird spot right now. So I actually got these super vintage mules and I've never heard of them, but like I couldn't say no to them. They look like they've been worn once and they just like, I'm not a vintage girl, but some stuff has been just screaming at me lately. It's been the weirdest thing. So it's, it's called May. And they're, it's like rug or tapestry. Yeah, more like tapestry, like burlap stitching. And they're just so cool. And they've got this kitten heel. It's so open back with like a mule. They're, I am assuming, leather on the inside. And like, it looks like the woman wore them like once. Seriously. And then they're not identical either. So here's both of them. Look at how cool those are. I'm like genuinely excited. It doesn't say anything about a size. Here, I must have my foot in it. They're like a nine. I'm a seven and a half in these. I'm swimming in them, so they have to be like a nine. I'll have somebody else try them on too. Okay, next, um, a pair of Banana Republic platform wedge sandals. These are like a gladiator style kinda because they've got the ankle strap. Super strappy. And then they've got like, again, kind of that burlap um, style tweed. Not quite espadrille. I mean like maybe, but not really because it's not furry enough in my opinion. These are a size secret. Size you guys. Hello. Hello. You know what? <laughs> Nobody wants me to know what size these things are. Now I'm trying to put it on my bum foot, so that's good. Oh. <laughs> if you didn't watch my other video, I gotta get this pin removed out of my foot. All three of them. But <laughs> they're like it's stat one of them moved. And it's stabbing me. Okay, I think this one is like an eight and a half. Roughly. Okay, next. This is from Running Room, which is actually like an active store, I think, for for swimmers. <laughs> for runner, runners. It's a size... Um, medium and it's just like a running jacket so it's got the reflective stripes on it 
Um, it's got like little Velcro so you can, you know, tuck your, um, like make it tight on your arms if it's cold. It's got breathing zippers, like if it's hotter out. Um, it's got a back pocket and it's a full zip closure. So I'll zip this up real quick here. And then it's got um, cinching on the bottom too so you can like get it tight around your waist. So that's what it looks like. And I would call this You know, it's men's, but it would also fit like a women's size large or even like a medium if you like having something that's oversized. Okay. Next. This is um, GH Bass or Bass. Now that I'm saying it out loud, I don't know which one it is because they're spelled the same. So, there it is. It says size small. And it's like a blue chambray striped top with multiple different um, stripe sizes and it's uh, sleeveless so it's like big and little stripes and then in the back it has one big pleat and it's collared and then this is a size 24 Foxcroft blouse I do like selling these because their stuff is like it says wrinkle free and it's not kidding. Once I get this up on a hanger and I leave it literally overnight, it'll be fine and it's the best thing ever. Okay, so it's like this palm tree print with hot pink and a white base and it is a half sleeve. Also, Nick might walk in. We'll see. And it's a full button closure. And there's the back. I just heard something it also might be my cats screaming at each other because uh, I haven't fed them yet okay so I showed this earlier in a 10 petite so this is an 8 petite and it's those Land's End shorts um, these are a size 8 cut from the cloth denim Bermuda shorts they're like a medium wash um, let's see if it has a style on these ones. Hmm. Usually it says a style. Whatever. So, just here's the front, five pockets in the back. Alright, this is another Nua Tags 8 Petite by Talbot's. And there's a little label too if you need that. Hmm. Huh. Doesn't say the style. They're a pair of Bermuda shorts in black. Okay. It stops me at 29 minutes, so I'm just gonna take a quick break and I'll be right back. Huh. Is another size three Chico's. This is like a zebra striped tab sleeve blouse. So it's brown and um, white. It has breast pockets and it is like a, it's actually more like a three quarter sleeve, I want to say. And then you can tab it up to a half sleeve. And then it is multi dimensional in the back. Um, these are so cute. So they're a size two petite Talbots, pair of like Bermuda shorts. Look at the fun colors that are on this. It's um periwinkle, navy, like a pastel to shade of blue, pink, and white. You see up close. It's like multiple layers of flowers. I really do like these a lot. This is a pair of size two and a half Chico's pants. I hope you can see the label. Nope, you can't. Okay, and these kind of have a texture to them, like a small ribbing texture. I don't know if you'll be able to see it on camera. Barely. Oh, there we go. 
man Nick got me this camera for Christmas we're supposed to share it but I use it primarily and I just love it thanks Nick you won't ever watch this video but thanks um and then there I think a pair of crops they look like a shorter inseam it says they're regular so never mind okay I don't know what the style is called but I was super stoked when they said that they weren't going to use this because they're moving to fall and winter like everybody else is and they can only store so much for spring and summer like most retailers or most nonprofits and stuff so it is a lululemon tank top so here I'll just show you the ohm first so here is the ohm and then oh you will hear Nick's car soon it's very rumbly maybe you won't hear it I don't know but it's this tank top and then it has a slit up the back but it's not crossover and then it's a wide fit like a boat neck tank top in a sky blue um this is another pair like the black pair of the tribal pants these are size 14 uh and these are capris and they're brown they're really stretchy You might hear my garage door. If you do, it's because it's kind of under me. Like, I'm between the garage and our downstairs, like, floor thing. I don't know. Whatever. Okay. These are a pair of Bowden shorts. They're a size 8 petite. And they are, like, denim, longer with a cuffed bottom. And then there's the back. I don't think... It's not actually missing that back pocket or back button. It's just tucked inside. I'll fix that. All right, I got a pair of Eileen Fisher ivory pants. They are a size large, or they're capris. They're really, like, they feel like they'd be so comfy, like it's a swim cover. Oh, these are. They're just viscose nylon and lycra. They've got like a huge stretchy band around the waist. They're really nice. Hmm. These are Fabletics. I don't know the size, but they're just a pair of black. They're super small. They've got to be like a zero or two or an extra small, whatever the sizing is. But they have um, like this crisscross kind of uh, corset. That's the word I'm looking for front to them and then they have like this big knee seam that goes around the back as well in the thick waist they look like they'd be cropper full length I just I really need to figure out how their sizing works here's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna put my shoes in these bag this bag as I go because my office is quickly turning into a mess So, I have a pair of Life Stride. They're like a bronzy gold slip on gladiator sandal. I've got like a faux ribbed look to them. And they are a, oh, they've got elastic around the um, foot too. With a small wedge heel. They're in really gentle use condition. They don't really even look like they've been used. Um, and they are a size 10. These are a pair of size, uh, here I am jumping the gun, a size secret again. They're a size 7 sling back faux suede um, pumps or heels by Inc. International Concepts, which is a Macy's brand. It's a house brand for Macy's or Nordstrom. So they're just like that sling back. I think that they're man made. No, they're leather. Okay, they are suede. I didn't think that would be the case. These are Echo sandals. I think they're men's. They need to be like washed in my. Let's say hi to Nick. You can come in. Careful. Carefully. Now you have to make an appearance. Come on. No. Come say hi. Hi. Okay. <laughs> Are you doing a video? Yes. No, you're not. You know you can edit he's, videos, right? He's climbing. Nope. I'm part of the no edit club now. 
<laughs> You're the one that knocked on the door. You come here. Come, come on. Say hello. This is hello. Nick. He just got home from work. Super fun day. So great. So slow. Mm -hmm. School start. Woo. Yeah. Bye, guys. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, anyways, I will be out soon. That's what I have left. That's cool. Okay. Have fun. Thanks. Okay, so these are size 41. They just need to be run through the sink. They're crisscrossy. They're black and white. I think that might be leather on them too. I'm not sure. Okay. Ugh. I gotta move this pile closer to me. And these are J. Jill Authentic Fit Cropped Size 12. These are actually like a, a frayed hem. They're not a released hem, but they're just a frayed hem. And they're a light wash. These are a pair of size 1 Chico's. One doesn't say if they're regular or not. These are like a pair of kind of wind pants slash khaki, just comfy pants. Um, they're capris and they've got like the really stretchy band. Oh, I really like this one. I don't know if it's a cool, oh, this is just Foxcroft. So, I mean, just Foxcroft. It's just on like Eileen Fisher or something. I don't know. Size one X, but it's like a ribbed pink sweater. Um, and it's a white base. And then it's got the pink in it, but it's like uh, actual ribbing, so it's not just a print, it's ribbed. Um, these are too short, so too petite, so slimming shorts by Chico's, and they are a pair of black Bermuda shorts. They're kind of, they're exactly like the other ones that I was showing you. This is, um... These are of Benetton. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. The, the United Nations of Benetton or something like that. But this is an Argyle zip up sweater. And it's lime green with pink and white and red. And there's no interior tag that I can see it. But I want to say this is like an extra small and it's wool for sure. It's, it's wool. And it's not shrunken. Um, okay, I really like this one. It's really heavy. So this is Emmanuel Ungaro. Ungaro? It's a size P. So petite. Maybe small. It's like a heavy but like loose knit sweater. It's like turtleneck and it's long sleeved. It's just a really basic sweater. I don't know what the comps are on that but I really liked it because it seemed high quality and it's sweater weather season. It's super easy. It's a neutral collar, so you can like put anything with it. It'd be super cute. This is another Chico's. It doesn't have the label on the top. I think she cut it off, but it's this really cool. So it's beige with um, a multicolored embro embroidery, and it almost has like a um, like a exposed look to it. I don't know how to explain it. But it is velour actually now that I'm touching it. And then the back is just solid. Um, the hem on the top is raw. It looks like she might have cut this. I think that might be it. I don't really know. I'm going to try to see if I can pull up the style, but I think that it looks fine, even cut. It's just got like this huge boat net look to it now. Uh, this is Free People, new with tags, size small. It's called Red Combo is a color. Um, but it's a huge, like, it's, it's hugely embroidered. Oh my gosh. Embroider is a hard word, apparently, for me tonight. I don't know what the style is yet, but it's like a little tunic dress. It's um, half sleeve. The sleeves are huge though, and they have little dream catchers all over it. The embroidery is super thick and wonderful, and then the dream catchers are printed on. And then here's the back. 
and it is oh it includes a slip with it so it's got the two layers let me see if this slip like oh yeah okay so this slip doesn't actually expose like at the bottom but it must be some kind of a dress then this is another jade gel or pure gel it's a size medium And it's like a static print turtleneck cowl neck sweater. It's gray, red, and white. This is a Lucky Brand size extra large. Uh, you can't see it. It's kind of like a bandana print tee, scoop neck. These are Lucky Brand, size 16. The style, come on. Oh, it's called the Ginger Straight, and they are medium wash. So there is the front with the straight leg. And zip back. This is a Gap Kids, and I just couldn't say. I actually ended up getting a couple of Gap Kids. Ugh. Okay, so this is a size 10 or a size large. This little sweater, it's bay or it's pink, and it's got the panda on, and he's so cute. So it's a little sequin panda. Some of the sequ sequins are cattywampus, but who cares? Look at his little face. Okay. Next, a pair of jag jeans, size 8. These are, they just have the really stretchy band. They're really nice. Um, they are, it looks like a straight or a boot cut. More like a straight because they don't flare at all. And here's the back. So they do, they are a four pocket jean. This is a Lucky Brand cowl neck sweater. Size extra large. And it's like a half sleeve um, and it has black gold and tan in it if you can see like the shimmering gold <laughs> so this is Tommy Bahama size large it's their relax um, line but look at this rum rum Rudolph Yes, thank you. Perfect for the holidays. Um, original fit by Tommy Bahama, silk and rayon, size large. It's a gray button up, just basic button up with breast pocket. We're nearing the end, I promise. These are Athleta, size small. You see a little bit of a love and attention. So these are like a leather patchwork kind of moto style zip up the foot stuff leggings. Repeat that 12 times fast. So there's like this faux leather on the side and there's zippers. It looks like more in the front than they are in the back. And then the top also has like zip closing pockets with um, the faux leather too. And there's the back. They're so small. I do believe this is another Lucky Brand. I was right. Okay, so it's Lucky Brand, size 2X. And it is a multiple print top, too. So this is that bandana style with a giant mandala in it. Um, long sleeved scoop neck and then the back is just solid I mean the solid print like it doesn't have another mandala in the back clearly it wasn't solid I feel like I'm talking like all the way up hello I should be sitting back but it's hard to get close to the camera 
You guys all just know how to do this so much better than me. Okay, I don't know what this brand is. It's called Jules, and it's a size 14. And it's a um, ivory blouse, floral, with really vibrant um, flowers on it that are like fuchsia um, and lavender. And then the petals are green. And it's like more of a authentic or realistic looking flower print, almost like watercolor looking. Or paintbrush. Um, I think this is Lucky Brand again. I'm so good at Lucky Brand, you guys. So this is Lucky Brand Extra Large. They just kind of have that style, you know? It's a red heathered sweater, basic. Does have this cool braiding down the side, though. So this goes down underneath the arms on both sides. Or maybe this is called twill. It's like a twill print, not heather. I don't think this one's Lucky Brand. I think this, this one's American Eagle. If I remember right, this was a memory one. Okay, so this is American Eagle Extra Small Oversized Periwinkle Sweater. So this is like a big old sweater. Perfect for leggings. It's like a legging sweater. It does, did you see that? It has a small pole in the front. Pretty sure I can fix it. It also has a Toby hair on it. Is that a Toby hair? No, it's a piece of yarn. Where is Toby? I think he's in here somewhere. Um, Talbot's size medium. This is another perfect layering blouse. Really pretty floral, sleeveless, um, pleats on the front, and then a keyhole back closure, just a little guy. This is Ann Taylor Factory, size 10, and this is a layering piece as well. It's fuchsia. It has the square neck with like little pom-pom ruffles almost like square ruffles as a scoop neck sleeveless banana republic silk cashmere size medium sweater this is a camel color just a basic sweater This is Staring at Stars, which is sold at Urban Outfitters, and it's size 2. Let's see if you can read it. This one's another, like, heavily embroidered um, dress on the top. And what's kind of nice about it being heavily embroidered on the top is if you don't wear a bra with it, it's fine. Because it's, like, padded enough with the embroidery. So, it's, a. Uh, it's a gladiator dress, I think that's what it's called, because it's got like the bralette top with blue, I mean it's like almost a tapestry looking, so it's got a ton of different colors, I can't even name them all. So it's got that primary like blue green, or red green look, <sighs> red blue look, but there's a ton of colors mixed in, and then it's got like a peplum bottom, it's a mini dress. <laughs> I think this is the last pair of shoes. These ones need a little bit of love. But they're by Soft, um, and they are a size, there's like the ankle pads on the back of them, so I don't know what size they are. Oh, I'll use my bad foot again, because I clearly love myself. Um, they feel like a size 8 or 8.5, and, and they're just like a, um, a loafer with a buckle and a heel, and they are leather, and they have like gray stitching on them. I'm gonna work on those. If you want them though, like email me. If you take them as is, I'll sell them for you to you for like no money. So I don't have to do any work. Alright, so I found Patagonia. Um, this is nothing really like significant. It's not like those fleece zip ups that everyone's looking for, but it is a size large. And it is a popover tee. And it's men's. It's just a, like a blue color, and it has a little fishy on it. This is Tommy Bahama, and it's a size large, and I'm wondering if this is actually women's. I would totally rock it. I think it's adorable. 
It's kind of like an oversized um, blouse. But it's like, it's got to be because it looks like it's super now. Okay, I'm going to button the top. Wait, I'm going to button it like it's fine. <laughs> it's buttoned all cattywampus. Hold on. Bear with me a second. No, it's not. What's happening? This is totally women's because it's a high-low. So it's a high-low blouse. That's what's gotten me so confused. So it, it's very cute. It's like indigo, dusty blue, palm print with white and like striped look underneath everything. It's super cute. I like it. Okay. Then I have Lush, which is just kind of like a boutique brand. Um, I liked the print on it. So it's again like lavender and blush pink and it's one of those crops so it's a crop blouse um and then you tie it in the front and sleeveless this is new with tags charter club eight petite so this is new with tags but it like was sitting in somebody's closet forever this tag is this tag is old I mean, it was on clearance, I think at least 12 years ago. Okay, it's not that long, but you know what I mean. And they're just a pair of basic white shorts, Bermuda style. Just 10 or less left. This is Pins and Needles by Urban Outfitters. It's a size small. So it's a black body crop top with um, roses on it that are either sepia or red. There's a short sleeve. And the sleeves even have little buttons on them too, which is kind of cool. Kinda. Kinda cool. This is Ruka, which is a, and it's a size small, and Ruka is sold at Buckle. So it looks like RVCA, but it's Ruka, and it's just a little graphic tee, a girl spray painting. I think she has a dog with her. Nope, it's a doll. Yeah, that's kind of cool. This jacket that I don't know what I'm going to do with yet. So this is actually the last, which used to be like the bee's knees. I like this. It's like a huge puffer down coat. I think I need to run it through the washer, like spot clean it though. So it's this nice chocolate color, like mocha. Not quite dark like mocha. I don't know, but it's, it like is so poofy and it's a full zip closure. So it's 90% down and 10% waterfall feathers. Let me just make sure that the zipper still works. But I really, really like this. I don't know. Maybe they didn't, it does need to be like spot cleaned and stuff. So that might be why they didn't keep it. Oh, the pole is broken on it. All right. So if you want to email me, I'll make a deal. It still works. You know, it just needs like, I don't know if you guys were part of the 90s movement or the 90s kids as well, but like a pulled or like a zipper pull that was broken wasn't going to stop my family. You got yourself a safety pin or a paper clip and made that work. <laughs> um, and you know what? I can't even read the size on this either. But I would anticipate it being like a 1X, an extra larger 1X. This is a size 4 divided, so H&M, um, but it's just a Pink Floyd graphic tee. These are really popular right now, so I thought I'd give it a grab. Um, so yeah. And a pair of Rancon, Rancan? Can can? I'm not sure how to pronounce this, so please don't fight me. There's the label. Their pair of white. Oh no, they're like super, super, super light blue. And they have a spot on them. They have a few spots on them. This actually, these might not actually be an okay thing to sell. Yeah, I don't feel good about this. Size are they though? Maybe I'll make them into shorts. <laughs> They're size 26. <laughs> no. I'm like a size 28 on a good day. Okay, these are Athleta Girl. So it's kind of like Iviva, but Athleta's small size. And they're size 12 or large. And they're just heathered leggings. 
They've got little back pockets on them. And Linnea by Louis Del Olio. If I pronounce that so wrong, sorry. And then it's a size small. And it's like a tunic or a tunic dress. So it's gray at the top. And then at the bottom, it's um, kind of like a little uh, silky overlay. Kind of cute. Kind of nice if you're through the wash. Can't really do that. Super cute though. All right, just a few more left. I grabbed this because it would be another good layering piece, a bundle piece. It's a gap size medium, and it's like a bow tie, um, just basic tank. It'd be really cute with like a blazer, an open blazer, something that's printed or brightly colored. What is this? Banana Republic. This is a size 8 petite. This is also very pretty. It requires a slip, but it's this silk, like, uh, peplum dress. It's got so many lines to it. Look at that banding around the waist and even at the bottom with the peplum. And then it's a crossover breast with a sleeveless finish and then it is like a raw seam. It's just so pretty. I just really like this. So I'm hoping somebody can grab it that has like a black slip that'll go with it. Um, th This is Aiden. So this is, I don't know this brand, but it looks really high quality. So I'm hoping for the best. It's a size medium and it's like a, it's a, could be a swim cover, it could be a tunic, it's black lace, and then like a just regular black body. There's the back, it's super pretty, I really like it. This tag says it retails for $230, but I don't know if I trust it. It's from one of those closeout stores, so sometimes they make things look better than they are. Um, this is American Apparel black jeans, or um, I'm sorry, the high waisted cuff short, and they are size 29. I just like I kind of want these things to be buttons sometimes. Here, there you go. Ugh, I didn't think I was gonna make it through a whole nother thing. All right, hold on. I have like four items left. I thought for sure I'd do it within a half an hour, but this was like a lot of stuff that I brought home, so. All right, I have an ideology size small cross back um, tank top. So let me hold this right. So here's the front. And then it's like the crisscross back. You can kind of like imagine it. And it's the print up close and it has a built in bra. Um, this is Free People. I've never seen this Free People label before. So it must be old. But that's okay. Because I like it. It's a size medium and it's just a basic tank. So it's like a burnout tank with that. Oh gosh, I don't know what that's called, but it's like the exposed kind of look where it, it looks like the seam is ripping apart or something like that. I don't really know. But it's got a bunch of different colors in it, so. You caught me at colors. All right, and the last one. See, like, that's how close I was. If I could just stop talking every once in a while. So this is Ronan Chen Basics. It's a size eight. Don't know this label. I hope it's worth $500,000. Um, it's just a basic dress, so it's black, it's like a um, third of a sleeve, it's got the scoop neck, and I think, actually, I don't know how it works. So it's got like dips in it, I, okay, so here's the front, but it looks like it's slouching, so maybe they're, maybe they're pockets. Maybe I'll have to look up a style. So if you're interested in that, email me and hopefully by that point I will have figured out WTF it is. So anyways, 
on that note, now that I don't have to like strain my neck and look up straight at the camera anymore, um, thank you for watching. I am sorry that lasted so long, but I hope that you saw some labels that you weren't familiar with. Um, feel free to comment below with any questions, like follow up questions about any of the labels. Oh, excuse me. Any of the labels or any sizing or any style names or anything like that. Um, and then again, please like, subscribe, uh, comment, uh, press the little alarm button if you want to know when I do other videos because hopefully I start doing more of them soon. Um, otherwise, I will see you next time. Ugh.